Hello everyone, welcome to another one of my episodes. So right now we already got a run, so I'm actually just going to the location right now. I think it's around here. Yeah, it's as y'all can see on the map, it's right around the corner. <laughs> so let's try to get there right now. I know a lot of you guys been requesting for me to do um, rescue one, so there it go. So I don't know if, yes, it is a small fire. No, not a small fire, and hell no, it's on the street too. All right, so let's try to grab the fire stringer shirt and let's go for this fire right now, man. You might have to rescue some people. Whatever we have to do, man, we're just gonna get this going right now. Rescue All right. one to Manhattan. Show me on scene. All right, I'm on the scene already. Oh shoot, damn! Why nobody's evacuating? I'm telling everybody to evacuate right now. All right, get out of here, man. Get out of here. What the hell? Y'all don't see the fire? Evacuate the building. All right, so we clear this area. Oh, I mean, I mean, it was kind of a small fire. Probably just a computer that blew up. Somebody blew up, I don't know, a computer. <laughs> oh, we got more fire up front. All right, so I guess that's about it. That was our first run for the night. I don't know if it's morning or night, whatever it is. <laughs> I just put it on and just start playing. Yeah, oh, it's early morning actually. All right, the fire is clear and let's see if we can get another call and you know, just keep going with our day, man. Um, It's early morning, yeah, the every, yeah, I think it's clear all around. And yes, I haven't used Rescue this truck one yet. To and fire is under control. Um, with this one, we're gonna, to I'm station just putting my tools back. For calls. Thank you. Um, With this one, we're gonna get different calls or whatever, so. I haven't did the rescue um, one yet, so let's see how it's gonna go, man. We might get regular, um, I guess, people that actually need our help to actually get out of the fire or, oh, yeah, like a possible pen, a MV, or MVA um, rescue one. type of call. Addresses so let's go for it right now, man. Alright, partner, you ready? Um, this truck is a little bit different. I didn't get a chance to really edit a lot of stuff, like by trying to have at least um, two more guys with me. But I don't know. I, I was only able to get one partner, so that's about it. That's all I have right now until I figure out how to really edit to add more players to this truck or whatever. So right now, let's go for this run. Let's try to get there. Um, we got somebody that's pen that we might have to try to like you know rescue them out, like get them out. Or whatever they stuck, wherever they stuck. At. Oh, they stuck inside a vehicle. All right, it's a nice Mustang, though. All right. All right, so we're gonna grab the jaw, um, jaw of life, Manhattan. so Show we can get this, um, scene. freak them out. All right, so we got it. So most of you guys usually say, "Why do I need to do that?" Or whatever. You can't. I mean, you could just open it. Oh, we try to make this more realistic. And by using the jaw of life, that's the way to open the door. And right now, that's what we're using it. Yes, you could use mine to open the door, but you need to be inside of the car to actually be able to open the door or whatever. So this mod, um, it's, oh, she's okay? Oh, she dropped on the floor. Damn. All right. So we're going to check her vital. Uh, I'm trying to call the medic right now. It's not, yeah, it's not allowing me to call the medic. All right. So I'm grabbing my <laughs> bag and we're going to check our vital and make sure we call the medic so they can actually come pick her up. Check her vital. Is she critical or stable? Oh, she's in critical condition right now. Um, her pulse is 72 BPM. All right. So we're going to um trying to treat her while we call the medic. All right. So we're going to treat, treat the victim and I'm calling for the medic. They should be on their way. Oh, oh, they spawn right there too. Ah, oh, come on, don't tell me. Ah, oh, they driving away. Come on, guys. I thought it was. <sighs> all right, so we're gonna have to run all the way over there to actually grab the stretcher. I could grab the one from my truck, but you know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna grab the one from my truck because we're not gonna walk all the way over there and. They're probably still running over here. They probably park really far and trying to run all the way back over here. I hate when they do that. All right, so we're gonna try to grab the victim and put him. Um, yeah, we're gonna put him right here. All right. 
What the hell? I was too far. There they go. Nah, y'all too late, man. Are oh, you trying to check the man? I got the victim already. Let's go. Oh, he messed up my. All right, so you're gonna act like you're not seeing this right now. We are <laughs> trying to bring an inv invisible victim. Um, it's the um the medic that actually glitch out my stuff. But anyway, by the time we get to the vehicle, it's gonna reappear again. So at least y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> They're trying to get there right now. I was supposed to wait for the medic since I didn't wait for them. That's why they were trying to check the victim um vital or whatever. But all right, they should reappear again. There they go. All right. So they just gonna drive away and take care of any business or whatever. Oh damn, I just hit the mic. All right, yeah, they just gonna drive away and take care of any business or whatever, and we could go on about our day, man. And for most of the people that ask me, um, what, uh, how do I make my voice? Because that's the second time, even though I explained it last time. Oh, they driving away? What, which way did they walk? Okay, they, they probably went, a, went across or whatever. Yeah, um, I actually used my Blue Yeti. And I actually record my voice not through the game. Not, I actually have a different software to record my voice. So I could combine it with the gameplay after or whatever. But I'm using a Blue Yeti as my microphone, and it's as you, as you guys could hear me loud and clear. Um, with that software, uh, it's it's actually Power Director. I get to put my voice louder. I get to edit whatever I had. I get to add. So you know, just you know, if you know about editing, you know what I'm talking about, whatever. But if you use Power Director, you can actually record your voice, and after I, I guess later you could actually add the video and combine it with your voice so sometimes you guys usually see a little delay or i didn't catch it on time that's when i didn't get it i guess if i didn't get it the right way and it don't match up with the video or whatever but most of the time i've been fine i actually found a way to make sure it actually matched now so that's how i am able to you know just my voice to sound louder than um when i'm playing the game or whatever all right, so we're putting ourselves available so we could get some more calls. Let's see what's gonna come up. Um, I never, I actually, this is my first time using the rescue, so let's see what kind of calls we're gonna get. Um, probably we have to evacuate a building. I don't know. I'm not sure rescue what kind of. Rescue one to Manhattan, returning to station and available for calls. Thank you. Rescue right. one to Manhattan. I was trying to get Returning more calls, but it won't give me no calls because calls. I didn't end this call yet. But all right, so let's try to um get back to Manhattan whoa. announcing a commercial structure, structure fire. fire. All right, let's go for Rescue it. Rescue one, box zero one zero five. Address all right, get out the way, lady. Bismarck Damn, she didn't even move. Ruby Street. All right, so are we gonna try to get to this commercial structure fire or whatever. And oh, don't tell me it's the restaurant. That restaurant's always on fire. <laughs> That's messed up. All right, so we trying to get there right now and see how everything's gonna. Um, I don't know. I don't know what kind of uh, what kind of fire to expect, or whatever. But we don't have a regular truck, so hopefully it's nothing big. If it is, I might have to spawn my um, I guess the engine or whatever. All right, so we almost there right now. And guys, thank you for 30,000 subscribers, man. I can't do it without y'all. I'm just glad that 30,000 of y'all like my video, I guess, watch my video, whatever. And you know, I would definitely, whoa, keep them coming. Damn, what the hell? Rescue it's worse than I thought. All right, let's try, let's try to do this with the extinguisher. Damn. All right, we already got people that got burned already too. Damn, yo, that's crazy. All right, so let's start right here. Damn, we got one dead already. All right, we got somebody that didn't make it. As you can see, the body burned. Oh, fuck. Damn, y'all. Partner, do not walk in the fire. Do not walk in the fire. Wait until I clear the area first. I remember last time, like, um, I had, like, three, three guys with me or whatever. But they walk in the building before me, before I, I actually, um, Use the extinguisher and they all got burnt, yo. That was just ridiculous. I was like, man, I and I and I wasn't even recording for that episode too, so that was like crazy. All right, so I'm calling the corner. Ah, oh, come on. Since I called him inside, whenever you call the corner inside inside a building, 
for some reason they fall in <laughs> it's always crazy all right so let's go upstairs just to make sure there's no more fire or whatever and we out of here the corner is already on the scene to pick up the bodies and we should be all set we don't have to call the medic because these people already got like burned to death or whatever so yeah as y'all can see damn we don't need any watchdogs around here <laughs> really all right so our job is done here and we are going back to the station all right, putting my tools back and I mean my equipment. <laughs> and we cannot use, I mean, when a, when you're done with a call like that, you know the firemen are not allowed to use a siren anymore, unless there's an emergency. But right now, since we're going back to the, um, to the firehouse. Special unit. All right, so MVA we got an, another MVA possible pen. All right, Addresses. so. It's probably Robert another RD. accident and the Frank person got Rick stuck Alden. in the car or whatever. So let's go for this one. And hopefully you guys are enjoying this episode. Um, most of you guys that requested this. Um, I know you guys, some of you guys don't like LCBF also. You guys like the, I guess the fire truck stuff more. So right now this is definitely for y'all. Um, okay, we've got a possible pen in the vehicle again. Rescue and one to Manhattan. Show We're gonna grab unseen. the jaw of life again and rescue them out. All right, got it. And let's go, partner. Let's do this. All right, so we gotta try to open this door right here. Did we grab it on the right spot? Wait, why? Ah, oh, come on. Why the door's closing again? Is it the opposite way? What the hell? Oh, oh, the door is open. So the door is closing because we, I think because we're on the hill. Yeah, yeah. I think it is closing because we are on the hill. But the door is open though, so I'm gonna get the person out. Yeah, I'm just gonna get them out. Yeah, there they go. And watch them drop. <laughs> All right, so let's go get our, our medic bag and, you know, trying to check the vital or whatever and make sure they are all right. And call the paramedics. Whoa, Mr. Tipsy here. Partner, come on. You know I'm not tipsy. Alright, so let me check his vital to make sure he's alright. Okay, he's stable, but not ready to be moved yet. So we're gonna try to treat him a little bit while I'm calling EMS. Are they here already? Alright, so they here, they on the scene, so I don't even have to treat What why are oh, they driving away? Come on guys. I bet they about to park. Probably right. Yep, there they go. Alright, you know what? Let's go get a day stretcher so I could bring the vehicle closer. Cause I don't know why they always park so far now. Like they are on the scene. Like this is this is so far. Like what the hell? Alright, so we're gonna help them out by driving their vehicle closer to the scene. And my partner hopped in too. <laughs> Alright, so we are here. And let's grab the stretcher and help them out. I don't know why they parked so far for. Alright, so let's grab the stretcher. Alright. Oh, I forgot my bag. I hope I can actually pick it up after. Damn it. Alright, so come on. Get out the way. All right, so damn, what what button is okay? There you go, I got it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put the victim in the back, um, in the back of the ambulance, and we could so they could get out of here, and we could get out of here too. All right, why am I moving like that? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to get closer. Okay, there you go. Good job. All right, so they are out of here, and don't tell me they're about to oh hit that tree. All right, they are actually out of here. All right, he's driving away. Let's see what else is, is he gonna hit. Oh, he's actually driving straight. Is he gonna hit anything? Oh, he drove straight, good job. All right, so they are out of here. All right, 
I was just watching them because they always crash into something. All right, let me grab my bag, put it back in the truck. We got to get this vehicle tow and we are out of here. All right, so let me call the tow truck for this vehicle right now. Okay, they got it. And let's go back to, I was about to say patrolling. Too much LCPDFR, man. Um, let's go back to the station <laughs> until we get another call and we'll see rescue how we're going to rescue Manhattan. these people or whatever. Um, to station and available for calls. Thank you. Let's get back to the station, man. Special right. unit. Medical run. Okay, so we got Rescue a medical run. One. Box zero one zero zero. Ward Dyke Street. All right. Ward Dyke Street. Oh, is that Galveston building? Avenue. Actually, I can't believe I remember that name. All right, so we going for this car right now. Um, we probably gotta rescue somebody inside a building. I'm not sure, but that that um street name actually rang a bell. So I think it's close to here too. I think it's inside a building because I think I did this car already. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think I, I think it's actually upstairs. Are they gonna be on the first floor? I hope they're not on the roof. All right, so Rescue we on the scene. One to Manhattan. Show me on scene. All right, so we just made it here right now. Um, you know what? Let me grab the Stokes basket. At least I, by the time I get up there, we can actually take them down, or whatever. Before we actually, I mean, by the time we call the paramedics. We'd be ready to take them down to um to the um to the ambulance already. All right, so we're going upstairs. I don't know which floor they on or if they are on the roof. I don't know. I'm not sure. So let's go upstairs until we actually see them. Yeah, most likely they might be on the roof. Yeah, they not on this floor. Not on this floor either. Are they on here? Probably in the room. No. Nah, they not here either. All right, so most likely they are on the roof and we just gonna make sure they are all right. And we gotta, oh, I actually could try to um, drop down on, on the ropes and stuff like that. But the, I think the ropes are invisible. So, I mean, I know you guys, most of you guys gonna say it's unrealistic, but that's that was the closest we got to it or whatever. But let me check the FIDO, making sure they stable. They are stable. Um. You know what? Let me make sure they are ready to be moved. So we're going to treat them a little bit and make sure they are ready to be moved. All right. They are still stable though. They, but I'm just trying to get to at least 70. I think it's when it res Oh, a hundred. Damn. All right. I mean, I was calling it EMS, but okay. It just reached a hundred. All right, let's grab the stove um, basket and actually get, I have, let me see. Do they have building? Do they have? Okay, the steps are right over there. So I think I should be able to um, get down from there. All right, I actually picked them up. I have to get on the side, probably like right here. Oh, damn. Right over here. Let me turn a little bit. Yeah, there you go. And then click the middle mouse button and evacuate the victim by the air. Oh, I thought I was going to drop. All right. So I'm, I know you can't see the rope. You can't see anything, but this is an option that gangrene creates. So I never, I actually never use it. This is actually first time. I mean, I did try before, but I dropped from the building, <laughs> but this is how you probably, um, that's how you properly use it. So by the time you get to the floor, you get to change the option so you could drop down and bring the victim to the ambulance. And I think that should be about it. All right. So we're going to bring them to the ambulance and and I actually didn't get to write nobody's name. So shout out to everybody on this video, man. Shout out to everybody that enjoyed watching. I guess the firefighter um, me using the firefighter mod is definitely um, if you haven't got it yet, it's by Gangrene. You can find it on the LCPDFR website. But guys, um, this is my time, man. Thank you for 30,000 subscribers, man. And once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Until next time.